Gotcha! It is a super short singing session, just 15 minutes, 15 super short minutes to grow your voice. What are you waiting for? Let's roll titles! Fifteen minutes, fifteen short minutes to grow your voice, to soothe your soul, to get you going. Whatever time of day you're watching this, maybe you have finished your day and you want to de-stress, kind of just bring yourself, you know, get it out there, whatever it is that you need to get out. Maybe you are watching this at lunchtime, halfway through your day and you need some energy for the afternoon. Maybe it's the morning and you just want to crack on and have a good one. Today's gonna be a good day. So yes, 15 minutes, just a 15 minute sing songing session. We're just gonna do some vocal warm ups, vocal exercises to get our voices going. We're going to work on our tongues today. So not gonna be the most attractive of exercises, but it's going to do wonders for both your speaking voice and for your singing voice. Because the tongue, oh, our tongues are really annoying. Like really annoying. They take up all of our throats. They're like, they're like, they're huge basically. They're huge. What you see, it's a bit like an iceberg, your tongue. You know, you only see the tip, the tippity tip, tippity top. Um, and the full tongue just goes all the way down your throat and can cause huge issues with both speaking and singing. So yeah. We're gonna get rid of that bad boy today, but first of all, let us find our breath. You know the drill, if you are seated, be on the edge of your seat with your back nice and straight. If you're standing, have your feet hip width apart. Try saying that many, many times, really, really quickly. Hip width apart, hip width apart, hip width apart. Oh, we should do that as a, as a tongue twister warm up. That'd be good. Yeah, just ground yourself. Feel the ground beneath your feet, even if you're sitting. Roll your shoulders back and just drop them down there. Just have them hang. And if you do have a mirror, there's a hair. If you do have a mirror, watch your shoulders as we are singing. Keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. We don't want them moving. We're just gonna stay there. All of the work goes on in our tummies down where our tummy buttons are, belly breathing, you might have heard the term, that's what it's all about. Yeah, breathing nice and low, nice and low. None of this up high, nope, low. So, think of your lungs as those two big balloons, inhaling and exhaling, and you're going to inhale, hold, and then exhale, okay? I'm gonna inhale for five, Hold for five, and then exhale for 15. Ready? Breathing in, two, three, four, five. Holding, two, three, four, five. And out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Fabulous. Let's do it one more time for luck. Breathing in, two, three, four, five. Holding, two, three, four, five. And out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Just to reinforce our breathing. Really, really tune in to the muscles down there. Let's just do a few choo-choo train sounds. The sounds that a train makes as it is crossing the tracks. Ch -ch 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 -ch. You can also do a kind of like a tss 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 or a kind of, or a <laughs> high microphone. But um, I prefer the choo choo. Ch -ch 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 because you can't help but work out those muscles down there. You can't help but feel them engaged and really drawing air deep, deep down into your belly, into your tummy, 
filling your lungs completely. As you're doing that, and feeling that strength, remember. Remember the sensation, remember those muscles that you are engaging, those muscles that you are using, because those are the muscles that we want to use all the time throughout singing, constantly, constantly, constantly. You're just totally in tuned with those muscles and you kind of don't switch off. In fact, you don't switch off at all because when you do, that's when the notes um, might drop, um, the tone could drop, and we don't want that. We don't want that at all. Stay on the notes. See, when you're coming down, when you're coming down in the scale, which is what we're going to do in a minute, we're going to do our um, lip bubbles. Of course we're going to do lip bubbles. And we go up the scale and everybody thinks, oh gosh, I need loads and loads of air for the top notes. You've got to keep it as we go down as well, as we're coming back. It's like when you're driving home and you might think, oh, I'm nearly there. Never lose concentration until you get to the very, very end. Always be on it, always. But let's do those lip bubbles. We're just going to do an arpeggio, a three note triad. <laughs> Separate them slightly as well like that. Here we go. And <laughs> emphasize each note. track isn't it <sighs> got the air flowing now got everything going everything's woken up here it's a really tickly tickly one at the moment didn't know if it's hay fever colds whatever's going on but yeah it's a little bit tickly right now tongues horrible Horrible, horrible, horrible things to get out of the way. Obviously, our tongues are key because that's how we form the vowel sounds. That's how we form the words. It's all part of the full vocal tract and all of that jazz. So it's all part of our instrument. It's a really key part of our instrument. Um, I talked last time, was it last time or a few weeks ago, about how we can think of our 
voices, our bodies, like a trombone, and the tongue is going to, is the um, is like the the bit that that goes like that. <laughs> I'm trying to think back to my GCSE and my A level music to remember what that's called. The key, you know, those are the keys and the trumpet. Anyway. Let me know in the comments. Anyway, yeah, your tongue is like that because your tongue changes shape and can elongate the sound, can shorten the sound, etc. So, yeah. But if it's in the wrong position, wrong position, an annoying position, it can also cut it off. It can come back too far and close off the sound as well, stop the air, block the air. And we don't want that. We want the sound to be flowing free. We want free. We want the sound to be constantly coming out. So what we're going to do is we're going to gently touch behind our lower teeth. Now you could, if you are like me, at home, in a room, on your own, not feeling that self-conscious, you can stick your tongue out. You're going to stick your tongue out completely with this exercise. Or, if you want to be a little bit more subtle about it, just touch your tongue behind your bottom teeth. It's a little less silly than that. <laughs> Did you understand any of that? Yeah, we're just going to basically pull our tongue forward, pulling it forward from the back so it's just all nice and open in our throat. And we're just going to do an R ah, like we're at the dentist. And we're going to do our lovely pattern that we do. Our lovely pattern motif. The tongue out of the way. And...
Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't listening to my own advice and my breath wasn't coming through fast enough at the top or well supported enough at the top and that's why some of my notes just didn't last. See, always, 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 always. And that's just the difference between people like at the top, they just constantly, constantly, constantly are engaged, engaged with their core, engaged with their powerhouse, engaged with their support and their breath. So just, just master that, work on that, that's all you need to do. But hey, that was our 15 minutes, actually that's 16 minutes, coming up to 17 minutes, so we've gone a bit over, but lovely to sing with you, and I'll sing with you soon, bye! Oh, don't forget to do the YouTubey things as well if you're still watching. Like, subscribe, follow, recommend, all of that jazz. www.musicformy.co.uk to read more about the club, but yes, I will sing with you next time. Bye.